Hello there, Edgar again with uh, Blood and Steel quick rules review for our upcoming game. Uh, today we're going to talk about the difference between muzzle loader and breech loader weapons. One of the neat things about our game is that it covers a time period in which a lot of innovations took place uh, with technology and warfare. At the beginning of our time period, most infantrymen were armed with muzzle loading, smooth bore, sometimes rifled muskets. An example is this unit of U.S. infantrymen from the Second Seminole War. At the end of our time period, our, most of the troops were armed with rifles. An example is this unit of U.S. infantrymen from the Spanish-American War. There are two main differences between these two when it comes to the game. The first one is any muzzle-loading weapons after shooting must get a reload token because they need to reload, take a reload action to be able to shoot again. Whereas the breech loaders uh, can reload so quickly that we don't have to keep track of uh, having to reload them again. So they shoot a little faster. Now, each unit can only shoot once per activation, but this unit is able to do more things because they don't have to spend time reloading their weapons. The second main difference is on effective range and accuracy. The rifles have a longer effective range and more accurate fire than the muzzle loaders, and that's been taken into account in the stats for the game. These guys not only shoot a little easier and better, but they shoot further than the guys with the muzzle loader weapons. Hope that clears up muzzle loadings and breech loader weapons. We have another video on repeater weapons later. Please uh, like and subscribe and join our Facebook group. We have a lot of answers to questions in that group there. Can't wait to see you again and take care.